Looks like our buddy Lou Elizondo is going to make some big bucks off what he knows about UFOs. Uh, he signed a new book deal. And uh, there's more information he's going to share with us, you know, but he's going to wait. We have to wait till this book comes out to find out. I don't know if I like that, but, you know, what are you going to do? Anyway, here's an article that appeared on September 13th in the Hollywood Reporter with the headline, Former Pentagon UFO Official Luis Elizondo to Reveal Shocking Details in New Book. The former head of the United States government's secretive UFO program will pen a book for HarperCollins that includes profound, quote, profound implications for humanity. Okay, now we'll read some of these, just a couple of segments here, just to give you an idea of what's going on. Luis Elizondo, who headed the Pentagon's Advanced Aerospace Threat Identification Program's effort to study UFOs around the world, has signed a book deal with William Morrow, an imprint of HarperCollins, after a competitive bidding war for the United States publishing rights. The memoir, quote, promises to reveal shocking never-before-shared details regarding what Elizondo has learned about UFOs and the profound implications for humanity, all of which will escalate what is already a hot topic globally. And then later on, uh, it's, uh, there's a, uh, here's a statement from Elizondo. The American people now know a small portion of what I and my colleagues in the Pentagon have been privy to, that these UAP, Unidentified Aerial Phenomenon, or what everybody else in the entire planet calls UFOs or unidentified flying objects, I'm just throwing that part in there, are not secret United States technology, that they do not seem to belong to any known allies or adversaries, and that our intelligence services have yet to identify a terrestrial explanation for these extraordinary vehicles. This conversation is only just beginning. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. It is only just beginning because... The government decided that okay, we're just going to release this piecemeal, and we're not going to, you know, you know, we're not going to show all our cards to the uh, public all at once here. So they're going to piecemeal it out. Now, <laughs> I, I don't understand if, if he has something more to share. I don't, I don't know, you know, I, I, don't, I don't see any problem. You know, okay, you want to write a book about something? That's fine. But if you have some more information to share, why not share it right now? Why do we all have to wait till this book comes out? Uh, we're talking about the biggest story of all time. And apparently Lou Elizondo is going to cash in big time on this. And that's fine. That's fine because he was working for the government. I guess, you know, he could give us some insight on it. But if he has more information that, uh, quote, uh, pr if, it, if this memoir, quote, promises to reveal shocking never before shared details uh, regarding what he learned uh, about the UFOs and the profound, profound implications for humanity... Uh, <laughs> all of which is promised to escalate, quote, quote, escalate what is already a hot topic globally. How about uh, let's let's talk about that now? I mean, I know you know what what you know while the uh, while the iron's hot, you know. I mean, I, I, that's a little bit troubling to me. I mean, I don't know why you want to wait if you have more stuff to share, and you're going to share it in a book. Now, I've seen him in some interviews in the past couple of months where he was saying he can't really say much more or he'd be in trouble. But now he's saying, okay, but he's going to say it in the book, though. He's going to say it in the book, though. That's okay to say it in the book. Come on, Lou. <laughs> what are you doing, man? Yeah, it's fine. I mean, hey, let's, let's, I, I think a, a memoir would be great. It's going to be great. But if there's something that's more that you have that, you, that you're holding in your back pocket that's earth shattering, how about, uh, you know, sharing that right now instead of keeping the whole world in suspense? Um, this this is this is something at all you know this is if there's information that you have that you're able to share and but you're going to hold off until this book comes out uh you know that's not fair to the to the world that's not fair to to the human race actually and, and as far as i'm concerned and i'm sure that there's some people who probably out there who think that maybe i'm uh, a little bit too harsh or jump into conclusions or you know it's I, I'm, I'm being unfair i don't think this is being unfair at all i mean you know Lou Elizondo is one of the people. I mean, I mean, he's the he's the key man in this whole uh, Pentagon, uh, you know, talk. Pentagon saying that, yeah, this, you know, admitting that there are things out there we can't understand. I mean, he's 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 the 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 main guy here. I mean, he's the one who pretty much started this thing, ball rolling. 
So now he's gonna he has more information to share. But we gotta wait for this new book, which, by the way, of, of course there was of course there was a bidding war for it. So you know there's big big dollars, millions and millions of dollars involved here. He's gonna make a fortune off this. And again, that's fine. I have no problem with you know if he's gonna you know share you know tell us how you know I, I you know get deeper into the story. But if there's some other information that you have here that's gonna shock the world even further than it's already been shocked. I think it needs to be shared now rather than, you know, I'm going to hold on to this. I'll keep this one in my back pocket, you know, and cash in on it. That's what it seems. That's what it looks like to me. It gives the appearance of you're, you're just you're just in this for the dull. Um, I, I just think that's wrong. I, I, I mean, if there's something that you're, you can share that, you know, that, the, the, you know, you're not going to get uh, uh, arrested for by the by the federal government and, and thrown in, in Guantanamo, uh, then why not share it right now? You know why wait? Why do we all have to wait for the book? Uh, you know, yeah, the book is fine. Come out with the book later on. You know, sh you know, tell us all the memoirs. Give us some of the, you know, how does he, how, you know, give us the full story. But how about give us a little piece of this right now? If there's something else that you got uh, that's gonna have profound implications for humanity, and you're sitting on it, and you're sitting on it for a book deal. Wow, wow, boy, oh boy, oh boy, you have. I mean that that puts you up there on a pedestal, man. I I just don't agree with that whatsoever. And I think anybody who's interested in the subject of UFOs and extraterrestrials and uh, th th they're going to be a little bit upset about this too. I mean, it, it, you know, some people who don't really know, don't really care. I mean, you know, you know, to them, you know, I'm sure it doesn't really matter. But uh, the people who you know, like me. Uh, who believe that uh, this is something that you know the lid need, needed to be torn off of this you know decades ago? Uh, this is very upsetting. It's very upsetting. I mean, it means you're sitting on something, something that you learned as a as a you, you were getting paid with taxpayer dollars when you learned this this information. And you're going to keep it. I mean, basically, we the, the United States taxpayers were paying you to do the job that you were doing, and and now you're out of that job, and you're going to hold out, and then you're going to uh, make them pay more money to get all you know to get this. Uh, pro, you know this new pro, incredible information that you're you're sitting on that you're going to hold on to a book. I mean that's just not right. That's not right. You know what do you know? What do you know? And let's let's know right now. You know you can get into the minutia and you save the minutia for the book, but give us the big stuff right now. Give us the headline. What's the profound implica implications for humanity that you're talking about here? That's what I like to know. I mean again. I, I think there. I, I to me, this this definitely, most definitely, does not sit well. And I'm sure for a lot of people out there, a lot of people who have been following this, a lot of people who have been, uh, you know, wanting the government to finally come clean on this for decades now, uh, it's not going to sit well with them either.